Hey church, uh, Pastor Gary here with the, this week, today's overflow to January the 4th. Uh, we're reading from Discipleship Journals, uh, five by five by five New Testament reading plan. So uh, what that means is we read scripture for five hour, five minutes a day, five days a week, and ask ourselves five questions to, in order to go deeper. Uh, those questions might be just simple things to, to rewrite the verse, to maybe to memorize it, maybe to ask ourselves like, what does God, what is he saying to us in this text, right? That's the whole point for all of this is to allow the text to read us as we read the text. That's exactly what today's scripture teaches us to do. In Mark chapter four, uh, Jesus begins by by teaching um, the, his, his followers. And he's got a large crowd there. So he gets out in a boat and he tells them a story about a farmer who scatters seed across the ground and some of the seed falls on rocky ground some of it falls on shallow soil some you know just different kind of soils one of the soils that it falls on is fertile soil and when it gets in that soil it it produces a harvest a dramatic harvest um and the disciples that were gathered around they're like what are, you, what are you talking about jesus and jesus says uh, let me break it down for you you're the fertile soil you're the soil that's um that's going to produce a harvest, right? There's other people who are going to hear this and, and it's going to get taken from them. There are other people who are going to hear this and, and they're going to get all into it. And then the, the, the world is going to get in the way. He says, but there are some who are going to hear it and it will produce a harvest in their lives. And he goes on to explain that the key difference is, is that those who hear it and it makes a difference are those who hear it and understand those who hear it and pay attention. And that's what he says in verse 23. Anyone who's willing to hear should listen and understand. And be sure to pay attention to what you hear. The more you do this, the more you understand. The more you pay attention, the more you listen to what you hear. Right? Like like we can hear things and not hear things. I know just this morning, Michelle was eating breakfast and said, Hey, babe, what you having for breakfast? She just kept on eating. Like, she, and I was like, "Hey, Michelle, like, what are you having for breakfast?" And and you know, she she heard me, but she didn't hear me. Right? I do this all the time, all the time. Do I do this? I, I hear, but it's kind of like noise. Uh, God's word today is challenging me to listen to His voice. To, to as I read these texts, as I read these stories, what is God saying for me, for my life today? That's what he's, I believe is what he's asking all of us. So that as we listen and we understand, then our lives will get richer, more fruitful, and we will produce a harvest of faithfulness as well. That's where he's leading me today. Where's he leading you? I ask you, if you would, to share it in the comments, uh, your thoughts, uh, your reflections on the reading today from Mark chapter 4. Jump in with us. Anybody's welcome, right? God calls everybody. Just hear Pay attention to what you hear. Listen to understand. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. And remember, Jesus loves you. And so does your Rockwell Church.